So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because it is four or more lines long, as traditional TWP questions are. And the strategy here is that we don't want to read the entire question. These types of questions typically are pretty um, uh, anxiety provoking for a lot of students because they're so long. So what we want to do is read it one sentence at a time, make sure to write down any quantitative information that we can, and make sure we understood that sentence prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says, a company that provides well watching tours takes groups of 21 people at a time. I'm going to just write 21. The company's revenue is $80 per adult and $60 per child. So that already tells me that the 21 people is a mixture of adults and children. So I'm going to say 21 equals A plus C. And that the second sentence is saying that it's $80 per adult. So 80 times A will give me how much money they're making per adult. And 60 times C will give me how much money they're making per child. If the company's revenue for one group consisting of adults and children was $1,440 or $1,440, which means I can just add this together and say that that's equal to $1,440. How many people in the group are children? So in essence, this question, once translated, gives us a system of equations. Um, I am going to use the, what do I want to use? I'm going to use substitution instead of elimination here. You could choose elimination, perfectly fine to do that. But I'm going to use substitution. So I'm going to take my 21 equals A plus C. I am going to subtract C from both sides. I'll just use a different color so we can see that. And what I'm going to get is that 20, I'm going to get that A equals 21 minus C. I'm going to then take that and substitute out this A here. So I'm going to have 1,440 equals 80. Parentheses 21 minus C. This allows me to only have an equation that has C for children. The question wants me to figure out how many children there were, so I, I like this strategy. Um, although, like I said before, you can definitely use elimination instead. Now, all I need to do is my calculator, 80 times 21, 80 times 21 is 1680. So I'd have 1440 equals 1680 minus 80C plus 60C. Let's go up here for more space. So 1440 equals... 1680, negative 80C plus 60C is negative 20C, so minus 20C. I can then subtract 1680 from both sides. 1440 minus 1680 is negative 240, so I have negative 240 equals negative 20C. Divide both sides by negative 20. And what I should be left with here is a positive 12 for the number of children, and therefore my answer is choice C.